Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'm going to give you guys 10 movies that I think you should watch. Or definitely check out, in my opinion. And these are 10 movies I grew up with when I was a kid. And I still watch them to this day. I absolutely love them. Uh, some people may say they're uh, terrible movies or they're... Uh, not as good, you know, everyone has their own opinion. But for me personally, these are 10 movies that I absolutely love. And I grew up watching these movies so much so that some of these movies were on uh, beta. Now, if you don't know what beta is, um, it's a smaller version of VHS. They were smaller tapes. There was a beta machine that played these. And, uh, yeah, that's how far back I go. I'm 44 years old. And, uh, yeah, yeah, this is, uh, it's crazy to think that we went from beta to VHS to DVD, Blu-ray. And now pretty much everyone streams everything and uh, doesn't buy the media anymore. Um, I used to have a whole bunch of movies. Um, but that's for another time. Uh, but these are 10 movies that I think you should definitely check out. So let's go over them in no particular order. The first one is Over the Edge. Uh, this was Matt Dillon's first movie. I believe he was 14 when he did this. Uh, he was found by producers. Uh, he was skipping school. And so they asked if he wanted to be in a movie. And here we go. That's how he got started. Uh, the next years, which I'll get into them more because I got some of those movies on here as well. Uh, but Over the Edge, it's about a group of uh, teens in a small town who do drugs, vandalize, you know, whatever, fight. They do all kinds of stuff. And uh, it's based on uh, sort of a true story. And uh, it's... It's, it's a great movie. The kids butt heads with the cops, their parents, and uh, it's a good one. Uh, I highly recommend checking out. The next one is a film called Little Darlings. Again, Matt Dillon is in this movie, along with uh, Chrissy McNichol, Cynthia Nixon. Uh, it's a movie about uh, this girl's camp, and two of the girls... Uh, have a bet on which one of them loses their virginity first. And so they each got to pick a guy out for this. And, uh, yeah, it's <laughs> it's funny. And I, I love the ending of this movie. Uh, friendship is forever. Uh, and I, I love the ending to this movie. But it's really funny. Check out Little Darlings. Uh, another one is Revenge of the Ninja. This is part of a trilogy of the Ninja movies. This is the middle movie. Uh, the other two are okay, but this one is my favorite. And uh, I love the music, the story. From the opening scene to the ending, it's just nonstop uh, fighting, killing. It's, actually, it's, it's just, uh, I actually consider this a kind of a slasher movie in a way. And... Uh, yeah, it's got some great kills, too. So check out Revenge of the Ninja. Next one is Private Lessons. This is a sex comedy. Uh, you have uh, a young teenager, uh, Mitch, who is uh, getting seduced by his beautiful young housekeeper. And uh, he has a best friend who tries to give him advice. They're both... You know, sex crazed teens, and yeah, it's 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 really funny, and it's got a great soundtrack as well. Rod Stewart, great, great opening scene, a great opening song too. Yeah, check out Private Lessons. The next one is Hard Bodies. This one, oh my lord, it is about three uh, middle aged men who uh, move to the beach. They can't pick up girls. They don't know how to. And so they enlist the help of Scotty, who uh, helps them dialogue girls 
and helps him pick him up. He has a best friend named Rat, played by Courtney Gaines. And uh, Scotty is able to move in with these guys uh, because he had been kicked out of his <laughs> other place. So he moves in there with them and helps them pick up women. And uh, Scotty also has a girlfriend. Uh, there's some jealousy. There's a breakup. And all kinds of shenanigans go on in this movie. And there's an appearance by Kane Hodder. And if you don't know him, he is the stunt man who is responsible for playing Jason Voorhees in four of the film's franchise uh, movies. And uh, he's personally my favorite, Jason, but that's for another video. But Hard Bodies has uh, a lot of remem uh, uh, memorable scenes, two of them, which uh, one involves uh, one of the older gentlemen uh, jogging with a beautiful young woman, and they make a bet, and we'll just leave it at that. The other one involves uh, an older gentleman uh, a beautiful girl and a guitar. And we'll leave that one at that too. Check out Hard Bodies if you haven't seen it. It is funny. Uh, there is a sort of a sequel, but I wouldn't waste your time with that. Uh, so yeah, check that one out. The next one is Screwballs, another 80s sex comedy. You already got a group of friends who uh, were put in detention, uh, detention by one of their other fellow classmates to whom which they are trying to get a look at her boobs. They're the only boobs that they haven't seen, and they try everything they can to get a peek at them. And uh, there's one great, freaking hilarious scene where it involves, it's in a bowling alley, and it involves a bowling ball and a guy. And, it, yeah, it's funny. So, uh, yeah, check out Screwballs. That's another one uh, I, I grew up watching. It's loads of fun. Number, uh, another one is Bachelor Party, starring Tom Hanks and Adrian Zemed. Uh, Rick is getting married uh, to uh, Tina, and Tina's parents are stuck up, uppity tight, rich assholes. Rick is laid back, kind of a goofball, which I absolutely love. He's got a bunch of friends who want to throw him a bachelor party. And in doing so, they get into a lot of different scenarios and funny moments involving a donkey. Uh, there's a scene in a strip club, which my favorite scene is in that, <laughs> in that strip club. And uh, it involves another married woman and her husband. And then it involves a waiter and a uh, hot dog bun, and I'll just leave it at that. But yeah, it's a great movie. Check out Bachelor Party. Another one is The Warriors. I know some of you may have heard of this movie, but it is excellent. It involves the gang, The Warriors, who go to this meeting with other gangs. There is a shooting, and the Warriors are blamed for the shooting. And so they are basically being chased back um, by their rivals. And they have to fight back to get to their home. And, uh, yeah, to uh, Coney Island. And, uh, yeah, will they make it? Well, to be determined. But it it's a great movie. It's got a lot of great gangs in it. And uh, definitely check out The Warriors. Uh, the next one is Meatballs starring Bill Murray. And Chris Makepeace. And uh, Murray is a camp counselor who uh, makes friends with Rudy, played by Chris Makepeace, uh, who is new to the whole camping thing. And uh, he's there trying to make friends. He makes one really great friend in Tripper, played by Bill Murray. And then all the counselors, they, they like to get into um, uh, different... Uh, shenanigans and they did they pull some pranks and all kinds of stuff involving a, a, a big guy and his his big pants up a flagpole and yeah it's it's a lot of fun um harold ramus uh directed this movie and uh yeah definitely check out meatballs and the last one i'm going to talk about today is the wanderers 
Now, this one is my absolutely fave, favorite movie. There is the poster for it right there. The Wanderers, if I'm getting it, it's right over there as well. I'll make sure I scan that. But yeah, The Wanderers is a great movie. Uh, you have uh, uh, Ken Wall, uh, Karen Allen, uh, John Friedrichs, um, Tony Ganios, who um, uh, plays Perry. He's my favorite character. He also plays Meet Tuparello in the Porky trilogy. And he's also in Die Hard 2 as one of the bad guys. And yeah, it's great. But The Wanderers is a fantastic film. It's got a great soundtrack uh, from the opening credits to the end. Uh, and basically, The Wanderers, it opens up with uh, Joey and Turkey. And they're walking. Turkey has shaved his head because he wants to join the Baldies. <clears throat> the Baldies uh, dressed in all in black. And they basically piss them off. They chase them. And they get cornered. And you have Perry who comes to the rescue. And it just goes from there. There's a lot of great gangs in this movie. And one in particular, uh, the Ducky Boys. Um, they butt heads with the Wanderers on several occasions. And it comes to fisticuffs later on in the movie. Yeah, it's, it's fantastic. And... Um, Olivia Dukakis, I believe, plays Joey's mom, if I'm not mistaken. She has a small part in this movie. But yeah, definitely check that one out. And check out all those other movies that I mentioned. They're a lot of fun. I grew up watching those movies. And I think you'll enjoy them as well. And if you do watch them, let me know. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on them. I would love to hear some feedback from you guys. But thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.